Welcome to the worldwide headquarters of Vermont Energy Control Systems. The little guys are kind of our mission. Bill Coons is an aerospace engineer. On his own, he started tinkering with a heating control system for his home about five years ago. We started by figuring out how to control the heating system in our house in a better way. Kuhn showed the system to his neighbor, Ralph Shepard. Bill and I have been friends for about 20 years. And uh, when I realized what he was doing with his controller that he didn't you know, develop for his own home, I felt that it had a lot more commercial potential. So with my urging and pestering, about three years into the process, we formed an LLC, came up with a name, and uh, began to commercialize it and go to uh, trade shows and um, renewable energy uh, fairs and so forth to try to get some traction. Vermont Energy Control Systems, VECS for short, specializes in monitoring and controlling temperatures for small buildings, spaces that can't be controlled by a thermostat. It might be a church or municipal building. Um, we do some historic buildings, um, multi-unit apartment buildings, Anything that's too big to control the thermostat, but not big enough to um, be able to afford a traditional, um, highly engineered building control system. Coons and Shepard have developed a line of controllers they've named Vesta, after the Roman goddess of hearth and home. The controllers have to be accurate, so much so that if the temperature changes because, let's say someone opens a door, Coons knows about it and can track it. This is a mushroom farm in Philadelphia, they need their humidity to be very close to 100%, but not quite 100%. They don't want condensation. Moisture is bad. So what we can see right here, this is humidity, and you can see this line drop down a little bit here. What happens is they open the door, let in a bunch of outside air. The temperature dropped a little bit, humidity dropped a lot. This red line says we had an alert. We sent them a message and said, hey, your humidity is low. And you can see the system respond and start opening valves and injecting water into their um, humidifiers to bring the humidity back up to where it's supposed to be. That's an example of us not only monitoring, but controlling and sending alerts when there's a problem. As VECS grew, the agricultural community began to take notice. What they wanted to know is if VECS could solve a common problem with small-scale agriculture, monitoring humidity. We had humidity sensors, but if you tried to use them in an environment that was 98% relative humidity all the time, they'll die. They just short out and stop working. So we didn't have a good solution. We couldn't provide the ability to do this to anyone who's working in a really high humidity environment. And that includes cheesemakers, mushroom farmers, anybody doing crop storage. We just, there just wasn't a good sensor. Coons and Shepard got a solution to the humidity problem when they met with UVM Extension's agricultural engineer, Chris Callahan. Callahan had been working on a device that modernizes what's known as a sling psychrometer a time-consuming and cumbersome way to measure humidity. Callahan demonstrated this old-fashioned technology for Across the Fence in 2015. And so as we're slinging this through the air, the wick on the wet bulb of the thermometer is evaporating moisture into the air. The wet bulb will generally be lower than the dry bulb, and it's that difference in temperature that lets us determine relative humidity. What Callahan invented was an electronic, automated version of this manual device. It could be installed in a storage facility and monitored using a cell phone. The best part was Callahan's prototype worked. Even at this early stage, Pete Johnson of Pete's Greens and Craftsbury was on board. He had once lost 40,000 pounds of potatoes due to a breakdown in his monitoring system. Johnson knew Callahan's device would be a game changer for small scale farmers. This is the kind of stuff where you, you know, you go online, you check out what, you know, big storage facilities, they have a certain kind of monitoring system, blah, 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 and you contact that company, and you're just not speaking the same language. It's, it's a very different, you know, they're dealing with, you know, acres of storages where people are spending maybe a quarter million dollars to set up the proper monitoring and all this kind of stuff, and it's very different to be able to call up somebody and say, hey, I want the second smallest model of what you have, because it's perfect for me, and to call up somebody and say, hey, I need something 10 times smaller than what you have and that'll be perfect for me. And they're going to say, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know 10 times smaller. UVM Extension is super available. They speak our language. They know they, you don't have to spend time trying to explain to them what you're trying to do. They, they get it, and then they go right to work figuring out how to make it happen. 
it's been indispensable and it's helped create a new ag landscape in this state that really would have struggled to get going without having that backbone. Callahan had built the proverbial better mousetrap. So it was literally over Christmas break uh, one year. Um, now I wired up something that I thought would be better based on a, a relatively tried and true approach to measuring humidity and just um, modernizing it a little bit. And so that really helped us get to a much better measurement of humidity. It's been a long way from that original breadboard prototype to what uh, VECS has developed and is, com is in the process of commercializing. It's a great opportunity for us because it open, opens up a whole new market. We really like this one because it's a real problem. It really costs people money if they can't do this well, and there isn't a good solution. So it lets us go out and really work, especially with all the small farms that the farm to table movement is bringing to the marketplace. These guys need to do the same kind of crop storage, the same kind of monitoring, the same kind of control, the same kind of food safety that the big farms do. We have something we can offer to them to help them do that in a cost-effective way. VECS has bought the rights to Callahan's prototype. It's being commercially developed with assistance from UVM Ventures and the Vermont Agency of Commerce and Community Development. Named the do Right, the device sells for $300 and connects directly into VECS's Vesta controller. Callahan estimates an individual produce grower could see an annual savings of $6,500. Artisanal cheese and meat producers may see a savings up to $10,000. The way I look at this relative to the land grant mission, if you will, and the mission of extension is this was a concept that turned into um, a physical prototype. And the challenge I had was how do I commercialize this and make it more accessible and more available? That's not really the, um, the that's not what extension is really best suited to. There are other companies in the community who are suited to commercializing something and being able to support it as a commercial product. This collaboration with Callahan fits well with what Coons and Shepard set out to do when they started their company. I'm not in it to make money. I mean, if we do, do make money, we're, we're not going to be upset at all. I mean, that certainly is the objective. But I'm in it because it's, it's causing me to grow. I'm learning things. I, I'm continuing to be challenged. Uh, when I retired, the thing I met, I missed the most when I first retired was being confronted with unanticipated challenges that caused me to um, move outside my comfort zone and learn and grow. And uh, we're able to do that with this. And, and one thing I would have also mentioned is that we're a, a locally sourced company as well, that we've made every effort to procure our materials right here in Vermont. We use Vermont subcontractors for our sheet metal. Our goal here is to employ as many local firms as we can in the production of these products, which we're now successfully selling. Vermont's a great place to do this. We have a whole supply chain of subcontractors and vendors who are all set up to do each of the different things, to make each of the different products that we have. And they're ready to go. So we've been getting <clears throat> ones and twos. If, they, if we need them 10 at a time, that's great. If we need them 100 at a time, we got suppliers that are ready to do it for us. A humidity sensor invented by a UVM professor, made by a Vermont company that helps small farms in Vermont and elsewhere save money. That's what you call a do-right. In Moncton, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.